Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having a great one. Um, I made this video today to show you guys how I add finishing touches to a design that I had recently finished or just made. So we're going to be taking this design that I just finished today for Thanksgiving. I felt like testing out some 3D. I'm trying to learn Cinema 4D. And what we're going to do is we're going to touch it up to make it just have it be a bit more crisp but I wanted to fix the colors maybe add some noise if I want to small touches that I do to every design that I make so what we're gonna do first is once we have the design completed I'm gonna place it all in a single group as you can see right here then I'm gonna duplicate that group control J then I'm gonna click control E so what that does is that puts the whole design on a single layer. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and just blur it so I can see the details, but I'm going to push as far as I can so I can still read it out. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go to Layer Styles, I'm going to go to Overlay. So what this does is that it brings out the darks, and the lights and sort of smoothens everything up and makes it feel like a more complete design and so I'm going to have that sit at whatever I feel comfortable around 40% works fine then I'm gonna duplicate that group again control E to merge it all bring that to the top again and we're gonna go to filter other and high pass so what this will do is we'll make everything just a bit more crisp so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it pretty low just enough so I can see the outlines of the subject or the highlight here so it shows up Thanksgiving so this looks pretty stupid right now but if you go back over here and then set it to overlay as you can see it helps make everything just that much more crisp and it helps the design look more legible I suppose then I'm gonna group this all together again I'm going to click Control J one more time and merge it. So now I've got the final design again, and then I'm going to go through Wolf Filter and Camera Ma Camera Raw Filter. <laughs> oh, so as you can tell, I've got all this extra stuff around that I don't really want. There's a way to remove this. So you're going to go back to your layer. You're going to click Control A. This will select everything that you can see. Then you're going to click Control J, which will duplicate what's in that selection. So now you've cut out everything outside of it, and you'll be able to see, it'll be just that selection. So go back to Layer, Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and now as you can see, it doesn't have any of that surrounding. So I'm going to zoom in a bit, and then how I do this is I just go down the list for these usually. So I'm going to start at the temperature, so I'm just going to really drag a left and right until I get a bounce of what I like. I want to give off a sort of orange and yellow feel. I'm going to head over to the next one. I You can use these here, but they're throughout the rest of the filters. So I'm going to go over to Tone Curves. And I'm just going to touch that up on how I see fit. There's no real golden numbers for this. I'm sure you could find filters to make this look better. But I just adjust it until I see fit. Now that I've got that done, you could go to detail and sharpening and noise reduction but we sort of already did that with the blurring and then making it all more crisp with that with the one filter so i'm going to go over one more time to hsl adjustments and so this is where you can adjust each color individually in terms of hue saturation and luminance which is what hsl stands for so i just usually go down the list as well here uh, start at the top with the reds so obviously there's going to be a lot of reds in this picture i'm gonna shift them a bit more orange or no keep the reds red let's shift the oranges a bit more yellow so we've got a nice mix of yellow and orange go to saturation for these two just adjust to what i think would be nice then luminance there we go yellows there are some yellows they appear as highlights on the letters the edges i'll make sure they're nice and yellow uh, keep the saturation up now turn up the luminance 
And then I'm assuming there's no greens, no blues, aquas, purples, or magentas. So we're good with that. And then I'm just going to click OK. And now I'm done. And so to have a comparison, I'm going to show you the difference of these two. So delete that and that. Okay, so this is what we started with. And this is what we have now. So as you can tell, there's a greater focus on this into the center and the highlights as thanks to the blur um everything is just a bit more crisp around the text too and the colors they're more favorable to what i like so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a nice thanksgiving and spend time with your family thank you